Hi, welcome to Parcel Pups, Possum YouTube You guys want to see something I just discovered? So I have two twin kittens and, um, well, like, one set of twins of kittens. One of them is affection and one of them is not. But look at the one who's not. Like, look at this. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you. Everyone who has a cat knows that after this happens, you are legally required to stay in the same position. Trying to make my cat face forward in his carrier so he can see out but he insists on hugging me instead. Your cat loves you when they make eye contact with you, when they show you their belly, when they always want to be where you are, when they nap on you, when they give you kisses. Top 5 Most Affectionate Cat Breeds Known for Their Loving Nature Number 1. Ragdoll Ragdolls are known for their gentle and relaxed temperament. They often enjoy being held and cuddled, making them affectionate companions. Number 2. Siamese Siamese cats are known for being highly social and affectionate. They form strong bonds with their owners and enjoy being involved in their daily activities. Number 3. Burmese Burmese cats are affectionate and thrive on human companionship. They are known to be devoted and loving, often seeking out close physical contact with their owners. Number 4. Sphinx Despite their unique hairless appearance, Sphinx cats are incredibly affectionate. They crave attention and enjoy being in close contact with their human companions. Number 5. Maine Coon Maine Coons are not only large and majestic but also very affectionate. They are often referred to as gentle giants due to their friendly and loving nature. Follow for more videos like this. Do you need to be on top of him? <laughs> According to animal researchers, there are actually five types of cat personalities. Number one is the human cat, considered the most ideal personality to have as a pet. 
These cats are well adjusted, more affectionate, and happy to be around their human, but also can suffer more from separation anxiety. Number two is the cantankerous cat personality. These cats are not necessarily feral, but generally they're not very happy if they're touched, picked up, or interacted with. Number three is the hunter cat. The closest to being a feral cat of all the personality types and spend most of their time sneaking up on things and looking for a meal and haven't quite seemed to grasp the fact that all their meals are going to come free from you. This is Onyx. And he is affectionate. <laughs> a pet essential subscription box service with all your pets needs from playtime to healthy eat our website is currently under construction but we'll be back soon i know i'm sorry pretty pussy it'll be up soon i promise but for now enjoy our possum content remember to like share and subscribe for more great videos thank you